Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting between two episodes one and two of my happy marriage. So, yes, between this and Sugar Apple Fairy Tale, these are the two mystery shows. Um, there was a lot more mm, requests for this show than Sugar and such, but I, I, I heard for both. Um, your girl wanted to watch this truly this was on my list of like reaction and stuff but i think at the time i was just uber busy and now i'm not as like it was on my list of like okay since i can't react to it we're gonna do it like this but then i was like no i need to react to this and uh, with this show i think it was more obvious than sugar because just a couple of weeks ago i just posted about it and i was like i need to watch this and i did the same thing with sugar and stuff so in a way it's fairly obvious for both but <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited to see this and see what is in store for our main heroine. But other than that, let's go to get started with episode one. In three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it played. Okay. Oh, well, why you gotta be a bitch? Me, I don't take that. Oh. Speaking of what, oh, okay, 19, there we go, okay. She's so pretty. Oh. You just wanted to see her. Oh, that's so cute.
God, stop it. Diabetes. Oh, oh my God. He's so cute. So we give the spoiled bride everything she wants, right? I really shouldn't be talking because I am also one too. So I should stop. <laughs> Okay. Just sad. You really shouldn't be treated like a servant. You're his daughter. really don't like her. This fucking bitch. I swear to God. Woo! Woo! We in the year of me hating some girls because Jesus, we about to beat the shit out of all of them. Something wrong? Are you leaving? Four. Selling her off.
You ain't marrying him, are you? He is. Oh, no. Oh! This fucking bitch. This fucking bitch. Out of all of them. No, Mio. No, don't say that. Okay, you know what? I hate the bitch and the mom. Fuck them both. First thing, she can't even say goodbye to anyone? And that's how they're going to say goodbye to each other. That's so sad. She's never going to see Koji again. You're telling me by marrying the bitch sister, this is going to help me out? Don't make me cry. I don't want to cry. I don't cry. Oh my god. No, it, it's not your fault. You're still helping her get out of this hell. And in a way, you are helping her. Be happy. Oh, 
it is too much. It's only fucking 16 minutes in the episode. Oh my god. Oh. It's too much. That's pretty. Oh, great. Great. Oh, damn it. That's all she has. But Mio, you're beautiful, honey. Damn, dad ain't coming to say goodbye or it. Oh, he's such shit. Uh-uh, that's not fair. Won't even wake up to say goodbye to your other child? Are you ridiculous? Any kind of evil sex stepmother and stepsister. Hope she doesn't have to walk far. He could have had like a carriage or something for her, but making her walk all by herself really just didn't give a crap about her. That's so sad. down the tree. He real he live real far out. Oh. 
So young. Oh my god! How? Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> you fucking perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. He's fucking voice by now for me. Fucking sucker time. Fucking bunny girl, so pie, oh my god. Shit. I need, I need a moment, oh my god. I don't know how to handle this. <laughs> oh my god. I, lo uh, I need help. Help me, help me please, Jesus Christ. He pretty and he voiced by one of my other husband knows. Oh my God. It's a win-win in my book. I thought he was not going, like one, I didn't think he was going to be young. Two, I, no. Mio, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. I mean, you know, Koji, like, he, he was really, he was a cutie. Precious cutie patootie. But this, this a man. We, we went from a boy to a man in an, in a span of an episode. An episode. Oh. He lived my dreams. She lived my dreams. <laughs> oh my god. I just, oh. He too damn fine. I, I can't. I, oh my god. Oh my god. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. No. Oh, he, he's just too beautiful. Too fucking beautiful. Oh my god. I just. Uh, uh, god, no, I can't. Okay, her sister? Fuck her. Bitch. Like, entitlement ass, spoiled brat ass. Like I said, I shouldn't be talking because I'm also a spoiled brat as well. But I'm still nice, unlike that bitch. Uh-uh. I don't like her. I don't like her mom either. Fuck them both. And, and then the dad. Screw the dad. I, I really, all three of them are assholes and evil people in my book. You you sell your daughter off to the hottest man in this damn show. I'm just saying that. That's a good thing, you know. Uh, and, and have her be in a marriage and her, with him. Like, so, you know, I mean, yes, I, I would take him in a heartbeat. But mind you, still. And then make her leave the next day 
for her to find her way to him. No carriage. No nothing. Making her walk. She barely has any possessions. Everything of her mom's is now gone. She has nothing left at that house. And so I'm glad that she was able to move on and she's about to start anew with him. And whatever these two get into, of course, it's going to be lovely. It's, I'm going to get the feels and everything. But he is like, oh, so like fucking juicy. Oh my God, I can't. I, I, I have a problem. I have a problem. Hello, my name is Queen, D Queen Deja. I have a problem. I love me some anime men. Anime men make me happy. Like I said, I, I have a harem of anime men. This man and fucking Shadow from uh, Shadowdo from Sugar Apple Fairy uh, Tale. These are my two now as Bondos, cause Jesus Christ, I cannot. It, it's something about the men. It, they so fucking pretty, and then the, then you have the good behind stage that I am also in love with, voicing them. It's a win-win for me, and I fucking love it. Oh my god, I just, woo. All right, you know what? But yeah, this first episode was good. Go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. All righty, episode two and three, two, one, go. Shit, I'll be everything you want me to be. I'm like, God, sir. Oh my god. They're not gonna sleep in the same room together? Okay. I'm guessing, you know, he's the only really the kind man because he has to read the right woman, of course. And that has to be me. I mean, because look at that. There's no fucking my ring. Oh my god. There's some eyes I can't.
Ja. And see, because of that, she was number one in his buys. Once she was born, she was always number one in his eyes. Don't you listen to her. No, baby, you're not useless. You're just being sweet. Mm -hmm. This fucking blue ass eyes looking like a goddamn snack. I need this man like so damn bad. Huh? Uh. Oh, wait! You really think she would poison you? Oh my fucking god, Jesus! Oh my... <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not.
this man. Oh God. Right? I mean, she wouldn't want to poison you. Mm -hmm. She got up and did it herself. She's too sweet to put poison in someone's food. No, meal. Oh, we gotta see this set. Uh, oh, Lord. Okay. All right. <sighs> I don't know how to feel about this. I didn't think we would have still gone back to, you know, her old place. Because she's been doing it almost all her whole life. No. No. because they didn't feed her back at her old home. But...
<laughs> he still left the water on for her. Oh my god. He seems very kind in his own way. I just think, you know, because this is only episode two, like, yes, he has, you know, anger and tension inside of him, but it's going to take time. Of course, her father's not going to do anything. Mm. Oh, fuck you. The fact that the father did nothing, fucking nothing, does not sit well with me. Oh, nah. Mm -mm. He said that you were going to be late today. Oh, so he won her. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I mean, if he really wanted to try, he should. <laughs> right, stop it! Excuse me. You will, baby.
because she has it. The compliment was that in such a long time. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly. What was the last time? You was praised, baby. Oh my god, this man. I need him. I need him. Please. Oh. It would definitely take some time, but I think she would eventually. I, I, I mean, yeah, like, damn. You had her eat breakfast with you. No, not her. She's different. I'll let you know, women's intuition. We have a good feeling about this one. Girl, them, oh God, motherfucking damn it, them, huh, his fucking eyes, I just, I'm sorry. <sighs> Oh, somebody fucked up. Oh, 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 oh. So then, if she's supposed to be with someone else, on the, oh, then why did daddy have her go with the finest man in the fucking universe? I mean, I'm just saying, like, mm. But, you know, dad did a good thing. Maybe this was his last, like, hurrah in, in trying to be a good dad to her because yeah like i said initially looking at these first two episodes and his relationship with his daughter mio like of course it it seems like he also treated her like crap he would never do anything now i'm not gonna say all men are like this i i think when it comes to fatherhood and potentially being a father as someone I'm, you know, I ain't married yet. I ain't got no kids. But when I do have kids, I'm going to treat my kids 100%. Because that's my offspring. And whatever you do to them as a child, when they're older, they're going to look at you a certain type of way and such. And so that's why it, it's like, once again, karma is a bitch. But I think, you know, truly, he looked at every moment that he had spent, quote unquote, with Mio. And was like, this is the last thing that I can do. I can, even though if she stays here, it's going to be even more hell for her. So I need to get her somewhere where she is safe. Where she can be with someone who she can truly be with. She can be herself and there's no worry. Yeah, I'm still a little skeptical of this fine ass motherfucker. Because he is fine. Fine. Like, that's a Fine ass man, and you know, like you want to, like you, you want to know everything about this man, like ser seriously, cause like, ooh, once again, fine ass man, good behind ass man, like he is the type of man who will come home, fucking hug you, ask you about your day. And such. And if you do something wrong, he might be the type of man be like, oh my god, no, baby, it's okay. And this like, he is just too fucking perfect. Even though he feels he feel in some type of way right now. Very skeptical and such. But, I mean, I get the fact is that he, he's very, like, a little cautious on Mio as well. Because he's like, okay, every other woman who has come across from me, all they want is money. And such. And I get it. Like, <laughs> um, even Yuri, Yuri, uh, 
was like, yeah, no, I have a good feeling about this one. And he was like, how can you be so sure? Because all these other girls, all these other freaking women who have come before Mio, all they've wanted is money. None of them have lasted that long. How can you be so sure about this girl? And like I said, call it women's intuition. That This girl is not here for money. She's truly trying to start anew. And it's with him. And, and we know it's going to have a happy ending for these two. That eventually they're going to fall in love with each other. And, and it's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to cry. And it's just, it's going to be glorious. Like, I feel like it just makes me wonder, out of the two, who is going to fall first? It seems like it is Mio, but I feel like it's going to be him. Or he might end up taking longer. Like, I feel like he might not officially be in love with her until about, like, episode five. But I feel like everybody who watched these first two episodes, oh, you fall in love with him instantly. Because look at him. Look at him. I mean, the... look at him. Just fucking look at him. Like, oh, my God. I, I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> I, I, I cannot. Just the man got me feeling motherfucking butterflies. It, it's <sighs> go enjoy the hell out of this series. <laughs> yes, oh my God. yeah, yeah. We gonna enjoy this series real freaking. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is where I actually read towards episodes one and two of My Happy Marriage. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.